What's going on guys? We're going to do an interesting project today. One that probably a lot of viewers might have expected that I was going to eventually do after watching the video where we tested this trailer with several tractors. Anyways guys, this is going to be an interesting video. Hope you enjoy it. I'll be right back. All right guys, so if you watched the video where I loaded a bunch of Kubota tractors on the back of this trailer, you probably caught one issue that we dealt with. And that was if the surface of this trailer, because it's very high gloss red paint, is wet, or if it's muddy, or if it has ice or sleet or whatever on it, it makes it difficult loading equipment, simply because that equipment simply wants to slide or not really get any traction. Now this diamond plate texture is a texture and it does add a little bit of grip but again because of the the sleekness of the paint and how shiny and glossy it is it actually makes it a little bit difficult to load even with the diamond plate tread pattern that being said i found this place that sells this tread tape now this tread tape is industrial tread tape and it's designed to put on different types of applications like this you could also use it for more of a personal setting. Of course, you want to put it on stairs or things like that, but it's designed to hold up really well. One of the reasons is because it's a very thick material and it has a very, very gritty texture to it. This specific one, I believe is 60 grit, but it should work pretty well. The first thing I'm gonna to have to do is clean off the surface of the trailer and I don't need to apply it everywhere. I don't need to go all the way from the back to the front, I simply need to put it on the ramp section right here because that's gonna be the slickest. I might put some small pieces up here just in the event that you know you go side to side, you don't have something sliding, but if you secure your equipment well enough, you shouldn't have that issue at all. The first thing I'm gonna need to do is clean off the surface of the trailer. We've used it a few times since that filming and it's a little dirty, it's not too bad at all, but you definitely don't wanna to try to adhere anything to a dirty surface. Secondly, I have this 3M High Strength 90 contact adhesive that I'm going to use as well as the adhesive that is already on the back here. So I'll tape it off. I'll apply the spray adhesive to the trailer and to the back of this grip material before I lay it down. That way it just gives it that extra little bit of strength to make sure that it stays bonded to the trailer surface. Yeah, you don't ever want to try to use that stuff on this. And the good thing is, is after it's used after you drive up over that grip material, it's going to kind of conform to the shapes of the diamond tread here. You're gonna get both the diamond effect as well as the tread to help get whatever you need to get on the trailer loaded. Okay, so everything's really nice and clean, at least the areas that I'm going to be applying it. Using a nice microfiber towel to make sure it was all nice and dry. Next thing I need to do is tape off the areas where the actual uh, traction tape is going to go so it is straight. Okay, so I've carefully unrolled the tape upside down so you can see a little closer without its wrapping on it. It's very gritty. Placed it essentially where it's going to go. I'll straighten it out a little bit more, but just wanted to kind of show you what path it's gonna take. I'll do it on that side and I'll also do it on this side. I have some alcohol wipes that I'll use to wipe the surface down. I'll apply my 3M adhesive to both the surface as well as the backing here and wait about a minute to two minutes, let it dry a little bit, and then you can put it down and it should stick forever, or at least until it tears up. I got these extra large 99.9% .9 alcohol wipes that I'll use to wipe the surface down and prep it. Next step is to measure from the edge of this to the edge of the rub rail, which is 15 inches. The wind is blowing a little bit, so it's moving it over a hair. And 
There we go. Come to the end. Perfect. Okay, now we just need to start peeling it back using the adhesive and applying it to the trailer. Might get a little bit, a bit of overspray on the trailer. Not too worried about that though. Okay, I got the backing peeled off this section here. I'm gonna take my adhesive, which is well shaken. I'm gonna spray it right here. And then I'm also gonna spray it on here, being very careful not to get it on the tread itself. This stuff is super sticky. Got to wait about two minutes, and then I'll press it down over here. Okay, it's been about two minutes. I'm going to take it very carefully. I'm going to lay it down right here. Gonna work my way all the way to the back now. Okay, just applied the next section. You gotta work kind of quick with some of this, so even though there's a two minute wait, you get any wind at all, it's gonna fold it over, so you have to put it down fairly quick. Just finish off the rest. I have about eight feet left. Okay, so I got this side done. It curved out, or at least in, a little bit right here because the wind caught it while I was applying it which was kind of unfortunate, but for the most part, it's pretty straight. Like I said, that one little area right there, it curved in a little bit. This stuff is super grippy. I walked over it once just to kind of make sure it was pressed down flat, and you can already see the diamond tread kind of pressing through, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna stay out here to apply it a little bit more. Let all the glue set. It's nice and sunny outside today, so should have plenty of heat to help dry the glue. We're gonna move on to the other side and get that side wrapped up. Okay, I got it all on. I eyeballed it a little bit better on this side and uh, I got a little bit more overspray up there because again, the wind kind of caught the tape. But overall, it went on really good. Everything's lined up real well. Just again, that one little spot right there, but you can't really tell and honestly, it doesn't really matter. I might put some more towards the center, maybe a strip right on the inside, just in case I'm pulling something that's a little narrower, it's gonna also have some grip. I don't know if I need to put it up front. Really, I don't wanna use more than I have to, simply because it may come off at some point, and the less I have to mess with, the less I might have to remove if it ever starts to come off. So I don't necessarily need to put any of it up there. I'm gonna hold on to it just in case I decide to. But all I really wanted to do at this point was add some traction to the surface in case I'm going to be loading anything up. And this stuff is really, really grippy. Plus, again, the diamond plate is coming through it, so you can see where the diamond plate is going to be adding additional grip and texture to the stuff I just added. Got this on Amazon. I'll put a link to it if you guys might be interested in doing something similar to your trailer or whatever you might need this stuff for. It's very hard to find six inch wide material. Most of this stuff is two or four inches wide, but this stuff is six inches wide. A lot of really good reviews on it. A lot of people said it works really well for loading onto trailers. That's why I went with it. it seems to have really good reviews and the adhesive on it is really good. I added the 3M stuff simply because I wanted a little bit more of an adhesion and less of a chance that it's gonna peel up in the wind 
wind if you're towing down the road. Overall though, it went on really easy. You know, if you're not into having to measure everything out completely, you really don't have to as long as you know where to start, where to finish, and make adjustments along the way. Again, I just lined the sides a little bit with tape, and I used the same tape, so I just used the same strips that I pulled off the front and worked my way down on both sides until I had it pretty much lined up, and the tape was just to prevent excessive overspray. That's really all it was. I brought a whole roll out, and the majority of it's not even used, because again, I was only doing it in about four foot strips on each side. Overall though, it's pretty cool. I think it's gonna work out well. And again, I might add some more strips down the center here just to add grip to anything I might load that might be a little narrower. Anyways, guys, again, I'll put a link in the description of this video if this is something you might be interested in. Just got it off of Amazon. This wasn't a sponsored item or anything like that. Thought I might add it to the trailer. A lot of comments from folks saying, you know, when this thing gets wet or muddy, it's gonna be slippery. And still, if you get mud in this, it's still gonna be pretty slippery. I mean, I don't think that that's gonna fix all the problems, but it will definitely help in the event you're trying to load something that needs that extra little bite in order to get on. At least I hope it does. Whenever we get this back out and we start loading some stuff on it, we'll definitely see. Anyways, guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.